Hello and welcome. We are going to wrap the markets for you. Well, it's um, not been a very encouraging day for the markets. The Nifty um, and the Sensex are falls for the second straight day. So the Nifty ended about 1.2% or 103 points lower. And mind you, that's the biggest fall since the Brexit vote on June 23rd, 24th. Uh, on the positive side, when it comes to the debt markets, Agam, 10-year uh, bonds fell for the second straight day after the RBI policy yesterday. So we had seen uh, the bonds fall yesterday. They fell further today and the yields are now at a seven year low of 7.084 so i don't know if it means that we're heading closer to that seven percent mark right. anytime soon so that's as far as the nifty and the sensex are concerned uh, what do the fno trends really say well uh, unfortunately not very encouraging there either because we have seen an increase of around 3.6 percent increase in open interest when it comes to the nifty futures towards fresh uh, shorts and we've also seen fresh selling when it comes to the bank nifty futures as well with an addition of as much as 5.6 percent so there has been a lot of weakness do you remember we were keeping an eye on the 8700 mark when it comes to the nifty we have broken well beyond those levels so once again we are going to look at uh, the market searching for new support zones but that that will determine uh, and it will also determine where we are going to be heading in the next few days. But let me come back to some of the key gainers and the losers uh, when it comes to the indices. Starting off with the Nifty, we only had seven gainers among the 51 stocks that comprises of the Nifties. And Adani Post has been the, one of the biggest ones, up, up as much as 7.8%. Marginal gains for uh, a lot of the other six uh, you know, stocks. But a lot of cuts coming in for Grassum Industries. Now, we had newspaper paper reports which suggested that Grassum Industries uh, may merge with AB Neo. But uh, later on in the day, we've also had clarification from uh, AB Neo suggesting that uh, there is no such proposal for now. Uh, we're looking at further weakness in Idea Cellular uh, and a lot of weakness in the cement you know industry as a whole so Ambuja cement and ACC also taking a lot of cuts and uh, on the whole uh, that's also the reason why we're looking at a lot of weakness on the nifty but uh, what about the, the mid caps it wasn't a very good day for the mid caps either in fact one is to three that is where the advanced decline ratio stood so very biased towards the uh, declines of course but um, uh, we will bring to you just the chart of which are some of the top gainers uh, so, if you look at what has done well today, Tata Chemicals, that was the top gainer on Nifty 500 index. It rose to its 52 week high of 509 on the back of sale of its Uria business for about 2670 crores. Other stocks which require mentioning are Jubilant Life, you have Sindram Fasteners, Tata Communications, Monsanto. All of these saw gains of over 5% even in weak markets. Manapuram Finance bounced back after correction yesterday. So, uh, that was the earnings reaction. Today, the stock bounced back after analysts maintain their positive view. Kaveri Seeds, Deepak Fertilizers, Koromanal International, uh, Rallis India, PI Industries, all of these monsoon proxy stocks did well today in the absence of any global queues. On the losing side, there was a lot of sectoral trends that we noticed. So we had stocks like um, logistics stocks like Snowman Logistics, Gati, VRL Logistics that were amongst the losers. Uh, tire stocks like Apollo Tires, JK Tires, Seat were down about 2 to 5 percent. Mid cap PSU banks like Oriental Bank of Commerce, Andhra Bank, Canada Bank, Bank of India saw profit booking. Also, when it came to real estate stocks like Parshanath, HTL, Godrej Properties, India Bulls Real Estate, all of them were weak. Uh, as you can see, Bombay Burma, so your T stocks, Bombay Burma, McLeod Russell, Tata Global Beverages, all of them lost anywhere between 3 to 7 percent. So, profit booking that was seen across sectors. That's as far as the mid-caps are concerned. Of course, uh, we were also tracking earnings from Mahindra and Mahindra. Uh, we have seen some amount of weakness, though. We, we've seen uh, uh, the company beat ex expectations when it comes to the first quarterly earnings. We have also had numbers from Madison Sumi. In this case, we have seen the margins disappoint the streets, which is why we've also seen a decline of as much as 6% for that particular stock. Uh, we've had uh, opposing moves when it comes to some of these Adani companies, Adani Group companies. So while uh, Adani Enterprises has gained as much as 3.5%, percent today we've seen a decline of 4.5 percent in Adani transmission and JNK Bank was uh, the other mid cap bank which came up with his numbers we have seen a, a over 100 basis points increase when it comes to its uh, gross net NPA ratios because of which we've seen a lot of weakness in that stock as well but that's as far as earnings today are concerned what are we looking forward to tomorrow 
Again, an earnings heavy day tomorrow. The last few days, as you said, the last leg of the earnings season yeah. that is uh, uh, this week. So we are going to see a lot of earnings tomorrow. Among the Nifty stocks, of course, Grasim, and as you mentioned, that's a stock which has already saw some profit booking today. Multiple reasons uh, for that profit booking. A uh, mid-cap names you have Rural Electric Corporation, that is REC, Bank of Baroda, MRF, IDBI, VIP Industries, Zipka Labs. A host of mid-cap earnings also tomorrow that will keep the street and individual stocks busy. But um, that was your market action for the day. Keep uh, watching us at 3:40 to get all the market action live on Facebook.